Hey everyone! In this video, we're gonna use Storyline to create something similar to the Looney Tunes outro screen. And in doing so, we're gonna make use of clip paths and animate them with GSAP and JavaScript. Now, clip paths in uh, web development define the visible region of an element. This allows you to create shapes like circles or polygons to reveal or hide specific parts of content often used for creating unique visual effects or custom shape elements on web pages. In Storyline, there are already some options which allow you to clip your pictures or your elements. If you have a picture and go to the Format tab like this and choose Picture Shape, you can choose a shape to clip your picture to. Or you can use the shape entrance and exit animations, which will animate your elements so that they are either revealed or concealed by some predefined shapes, such as a circle, diamond, square, and plus sign. These are the only four options you have. Um, here I selected the circle shape, but it, it actually makes an oval because my slide size is 1366 by 768. If you're using a slide size of 4 by 3, I think you won't likely encounter this. Anyway, I made this video to show you that we can also add clip paths to our elements using JavaScript. And not only can we add a clip path, but we can also animate them using GSAP. Here's one example in which I animate this circle clip path once I click the button. I have an execute JavaScript trigger here that runs when the button is clicked. In the code, I select the element which I want to animate using the accessibility text value. I gave this image an accessibility text of picture by right-clicking it in Storyline and changing the accessibility value from there. I then add the clip path to the element. The clip path starts from a value of uh, 100% which means that the element is fully visible. And then I use GSAP to animate the clip path to a value of 0%. That means that over three seconds, the circle will enclose around the image until it makes it vanish. Now, just like the default animations available in Storyline, I can change the type of path. It doesn't have to be a circle. In this example, I'm using an inset. Here is a star, rather squished, uh, because my image uh, is not a square, but a rectangle. There are several basic paths available for you to choose from. Check the description or the link to the documentation if you want to find out more. So let's move on to recreating the Looney Tunes outro. Let me define what I want to achieve. I want the image to be clipped by a circle until about 30% of the way. Once it gets there, I want this cat character to pop up, as well as the text that says, that's all folks. Then I want to wait for about a second and continue the clipping of the image to 0%, all while shrinking the cat and the text so that they disappear as well. And the only thing that remains at the end will be this black screen that I choose as the slide background. So how do we do this? Well, here's what I came up with. First off, I select the elements, uh, the picture in the background with the concentric circles, then the cat, then the text. Then I add a clip path to my picture and I set it to 100% so that the picture is fully visible and no clipping occurs. Since I'm running this execute JavaScript trigger at the start of the timeline on the slide, I'm using GSAP here to set the opacity and scale for the cat and the text to zero. That way they're invisible when we load the slide. I then create a timeline in a paused state so that it doesn't fire without us specifically telling it to. Then I begin adding my animations. So the first thing I do is animate the clip path of the image, making it go to a value of 30%, which I found through trial and error to be suitable for the effect I want. Then I make the text and cat pop up by setting their scale and opacity to 1. Then I wait one second after the previous animation ends and set the cat and text back to a scale opacity uh, to a scale and opacity of 0. Then in this uh, last line I resume animating the clip path 
of the picture from 30% to 0%. Notice the lesser than signs here. This means that these two lines will start playing at the same time as this line here. Then the last thing I have is my event listener here, which will play the timeline once the mouse clicks on the background picture. And that's all. Now I'm very happy with how this effect turned out. Uh, I think it's a nice little experiment. Uh, I could refine it further, of course, and make it really cartoony by adding some more animations, but I, I don't want to overdo it. Now, I don't know how much mileage I'll get out of this effect, aside from doing Looney Tunes or James Bond intros, but hey, at least now I know that it's possible to do something like this in Storyline. And now you know it too. I hope you liked this experiment. See you next time.